Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barasande, host of the U.S. Revolution. And if you're about to watch this amazing session that we did, then you're part of a group of humans on this planet who are ascending and moving into a higher frequency. You're not here by accident, and I'd like to offer you a special gift that will help you to adjust to some of these frequencies, plug in even deeper, and it's an energy activation MP3 that will double the power of your energy field in less than 57 seconds. It's absolutely free, and it's the first link in the description down below, but it's also going to let you get to hear calls like this one live and get daily help from healers, teachers, and masters all over the world. It's absolutely free and it's part of what we're doing every day at UAuth Revolution. So if you feel called in your heart, you can click the link down below and the special session that you wanted to watch and experience will start right now. So take your energy up, everybody, where you know source to be. So see, sense, or feel source. And for those of you who need a little more logic to it, just take your energy up about 300 feet above your head and you will kind of sense an opening where you will see or sense the light. And ask that light, which is basically just pure consciousness itself, unadulterated, totally pure, wants the best for you, hopes, uh, you know, will mold into whatever shape you want to mold it into. But ask that light to come into the top of your head, your crown, connecting you to your knowing, connecting you to your perceiving, and connecting you to receiving. Okay, allow this light, and some people like to see it as a beam of light, and some people prefer to see it as liquid light, and either one will work. So allow this light to kind of open your crown, coming into your third eye, so that you can see and know the truth today. Allow the light to come into your hearing so that you can hear the guidance. Allow the light to come into your throat, opening up all your communication channels so that you can speak the truth to yourself. Okay, allow the light to connect your throat to your heart so that your heartfelt desires get communicated and that Everywhere you've kind of like, let's just start clearing a couple of things here. Everywhere you just felt blocked about communicating your truth or felt like that you really couldn't ask for what you wanted because it just wouldn't show up. So just ask the light to kind of wash that away. Okay, allow the light to come in and open and reactivate and remember all your true authentic desires for yourself. Ask the light to come into your solar plexus, opening up your... Anywhere you felt sucker punched, nervous, um, I hear agitated, stopped, blocked. Okay, allow the light to come into your power center, opening up everywhere you feel powerless over any situation, asking to you to remember what it's like to just stand in your energy, stand in grace, be confident, alive, well, whole. Allow the light to come into your roots so that you're rooted in your heart's desires while also being connected. And ask the light to move all the way through your hips, into your legs, into your feet. And I like to connect to the center of the planet where there's this really cool place where it feels just like mama's love, just totally supportive. <laughs> so take the light and imagine just a beam of light or liquid light that goes into the center of the planet and again, see, sense, or know, because you all know where this is, but see, sense, or know, even if you think you're making it up, you kind of know where it is, where it feels just like love that just completely supports and grounds you. Okay, and once you find that, I want you to imagine there's like an elevator or a little uh, trampoline, and then the slide's just going to bounce right back up into your feet, into your legs, into your hips, into your stomach, and then right up into your heart. And now you are now connected from above and below. And imagine your heart's like a big sunshine, and it's going to radiate 360 degrees all the way around you. Okay, and remember how I said that a lot of people live from a very contracted place. I'm going to show you how to expand. If you, if you get anything from this call, if you just live from an expanded state, I guarantee you, you will start shifting blocks just from this one thing. So allow the light to radiate past your body about 10 feet. 
So it's radiating out your heart like a big sunshine, 10 feet all the way around you, 360 degrees all the way around you. And allow it to radiate past the building you're in. Okay, so a lot of people shifted right there just from that one thing. And allow the light to expand past the city you're in. Now, we're here for abundance. So just ask that you you connect to the hearts of everybody uh, who could bring you abundance. Okay, so any person, place, thing, idea, event that you can connect to in your city that could bring you extra abundance, just kind of invite that in now. Say, I am open to receive. <laughs> okay, and then take this light and radiate past the state you're in. And again, just connect to all the hearts, and your soul knows from this expanded space who these people are. So just connect to the hearts of all the people uh, that could bring you a lot of abundance. Win-win. Okay, and allow all the people, places, ideas, events, you know, like maybe somebody gives you an idea and it generates a lot of money for you, right? So just ask those people to come into your life. And then take your energy, expand it past the country you're in. Again, connecting to all the people, places, ideas, events, and, you know, anything that can be brought to you that generates a lot of abundance. And it's great to receive this. It can be this easy. Okay. And then just expand the energy field past the planet, planet Earth, and again, connect to all the people on the planet who can bring you abundance, win-win, you can gift to them, they can gift to you, it's all a big ex gifting experience, <laughs> and again, any other ideas that anybody can bring you that will generate a lot of abundance for you, and again, notice that I have no judgment on how it comes to you, okay, so just invite that in that there's no judgment of how it shows up, right? Okay, it can come up, come in however it wants to. All right, so now we're going to clear some blocks on indebtedness. Okay, so how many people, so anybody on this call, I want you to imagine the first moment you felt indebted to anything. Okay, and imagine, so the first, this is your foundation, but on the foundation might be hundreds of other beliefs you know, that got nestled into this foundation. So we're going to we're gonna take a desk, all of it, <laughs> and we're going to uncreate it. We're going to delete it, and we are going to transmute it. Transmute just means it vaporizes across all time, dimension, space, and reality. So all of these old places where you feel indebted to a family member, to companies, to countries, to the world, to whatever this indebted thing that keeps you in prison, okay, because it's kind of a lower vibration. It's not really a happy vibration. Okay, all the indebtedness, we're going to uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. And I'm going to say it three more times. Any other indebtedness that you guys have that makes you feel like you can't shift your credit card debt or your bills in any form, Uncreate it, delete it, transmute it across all time, dimension, space, reality. Uncreate it, delete it, transmute it across all time, dimension, space, reality. I want you to imagine your biggest uh, debt or worry. Okay, so everything creating, every reality, every thought, belief, or feeling that's holding any of this in place in your field, we're going to uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, reality. So don't worry about blowing everything up because in a weird way, what fills in is your soul and your soul already knows the answer of what perfection is. So we're just clearing some, anything that's in the way of it being perfect. So again, think of your credit card debt or any other debt or worry that you guys are indebted to. Uncreate it, delete it, transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay, so I want to clear the belief or the feeling of I can't. So I want you guys to all think of something in the abundance, uh, you know, in the form of abundance or money that you think you cannot do or cannot have or cannot make happen. So any of your cannots? Okay, a lot of them. <laughs> okay, so just for... 
curiosity, ask at what age is the first age that you bought into the energy field of I can't? Okay, so that age plus all, everything you just laid on top of it, will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? Everywhere else you're living in a state of I can't, which is basically the exact opposite of abundance, because abundance means more than enough. Okay, so anywhere you're I can't, I uncreate it, delete it, transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay, just one more time. Think of everything that you think you can't do with regards to abundance or money. Okay, I want you to ask, is that really yours? Like, where did you get this from? Did you get it from a family member? Did you get it from society? Okay, so anywhere you bought that belief and made it real to you, will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? Okay, so anywhere you guys are living in the fear of I can't change, okay? So I want you to think of any place in your abundance, you know, part of your abundance life, money, credit card, debt, job, uh, anything that you think you can't change. I want you to think of that. And again, I want you to ask, at what age did you first buy that belief? So whatever you think you can't change, at what age did you first buy that belief and from whom? Okay, everything creating that, will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? So all these overlays, right? So all these hundreds of beliefs and thoughts and feelings that got laid on top of it, of I can't change, or I can't change my reality, or I can't change this issue. Will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? Okay, just think of the subject for a minute of money itself. And scale of 1 to 10, 10 being you totally love money, I want you to ask your subconscious, not your mental part of you. <laughs> and scale of 1 to 10, how much do you really love money, 10 being you totally love it? Okay, so I got a couple of pretty low numbers for a lot of people. So we're talking to that part of you, right? So you might have some part of you that really loves money, but we're talking to the part of you that doesn't, so we can clear it. Okay, any part of you guys that don't doesn't love money for whatever reason, like the love of money is the root of all evil and all the other myriads of reasons of why you can't love money, will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? How many of you guys have bought and sold yourself the belief that it's not safe, right, or good to have money? Or it's hard to make it? Will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? How many of you see money as this thing that you have to get, so that means you're always having to get it and you can't really have it? Because that would be a block. Okay, so everything that is, will you uncreate it and delete it and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality? I want you to see as money as just a flow of energy that you can totally have. So just think of the flow coming towards you versus you having to chase the flow. And once the flow comes into you, you still have to take the action to grab it, but the flow of money just comes into you, and you just grab it and you take action. Okay, so there's a lot of people that bend over backwards trying to please money and I got a picture of everybody trying to bend themselves into the energy of money, making money love them. Kind of like they want mommy and daddy to love them, they want money to love them. Okay, so any of you guys doing that kind of flow? So you always think it's kind of a, a, a ways from you or apart from you, and you have to do all this extraneous, like all this, I don't know, just complications to make it show up in your life? Will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it? Across all time, dimension, space, and reality. What would it take for you and money to have a love affair? Okay, and everything in the way of that. Uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it. Across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay, so there's... Okay, so there's some... Uh, I'm kind of feeling in the energy field, a place where you guys are mad at yourself about money. So I want you to think of just kind of like conjure up the files. You know, imagine there's file folders of all the events in your life where you just maybe 
didn't take care of money or didn't like money or thought money mistreated you or fought with your spouses or your mates or your parents about money, like all that old place where you're kind of angry at money. Okay, will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it? Across all time, dimensions, space, and reality. The energy of anger is kind of like mad, which is damn backwards. So the energy of anger will damn things up and stop it from showing up in your life. So any other place that you guys are mad at money, will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it? Across all time, dimensions, space, and reality. Okay, that shifted the energy a lot. Okay, everywhere you guys are mad at yourself about money, because you've been trying a lot of things and nothing seemed to shift it, will you uncreate that, delete that, transmute that, and cross all time, dimension, space, and reality? Okay, so I want you to see money, uh, the energy of money liking you. <laughs> I'm going to see if we can conjure this up. I want you guys to think of I love money and money loves me. We're part of the same energy field, part of the same flow. We all come from the same source. I have a relationship with money and money has a relationship with me. I'm willing to love money and I'm willing to let money love me. Okay, and everybody get a picture of like a, like a $100 bill or something in front of them. And we are going to ask this money, this is a symbol of your money, we're going to ask this money, how do I get more of you? How do I get more of you? Okay, and what guided action can I take to get more of you? Okay, and any of you guys who are afraid to take some massive action in order to make it happen, uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Everywhere you guys are afraid to take massive action, uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it across all time, dimension, space, and reality. So one more time, just ask money, how can I get more of you? It might be a different idea that pops in your head, but money, how can I get more of you? Okay, so it feels like some people need to learn a new skill or something to maybe if they learn some new skills, money will come in a little more easy. So I want you guys to ask, what is one or two skills that I can learn that will generate a lot of money for me? Okay, what is one or two skills I can learn to generate a lot of money for me? Okay, and then I want you to ask the universe to guide you to some free or not very expensive sources to learn those skills. So so just kind of say to yourself, universe and myself, I am totally open to be guided to figure out how to do these skills with little or no money. Okay, everywhere you guys don't think the universe could be that fun, that magical, that miraculous, uncreate it, delete it, transmute it, across all time, dimension, space, reality. So what would it take for money to be fun for you guys? <laughs> and actually just manifesting itself to be fun, you know, it doesn't have to be arduous, it could be fun, light, guided. Okay, and everything in the way of that, will you uncreate it, delete it, and transmute it? Across all time, dimension, space, and reality. Okay, and any other clearing that you guys want to bring up right now that needs to be clear, that you know needs to be cleared, will you uncreate all those things, delete all those things, transmute all those things across all time, dimension, space, reality? 
What would it take for you guys right now to uncreate it, delete it, transmute it? Uncreate it, delete it, transmute it. Uncreate it, delete it, transmute it. All blocks to abundance and to money. Okay, right there. Okay, what would it take for you guys to be so completely generous with the universe and the universe is generous with you? What would it take for your main energy to be of abundance? Abundance means uh, like a plethora of, more than enough. An abundance of generous, kind, caring, what would it take for the universe and you to be in the vibe of kindness, caring, gratitude, abundance, more than enough, profit, ease, complete guidance, knowing exactly what to go do in order to make this happen. Okay, cool. You guys took that in. Okay, when you guys are ready, just open your eyes, knowing all is well, and uh, this is permanently affixed into your reality. Hello and welcome. This is Darius Barzande, host of the Wealth Revolution. And if you enjoyed that snippet of one of our interviews, I'd invite you to just scroll down for one second and click the link down below. You're going to get access not only to a free gift that's going to double the power of your energy field in just 57 seconds, you're also going to get to be a part of the U.S. Revolution and listen to interviews just like the ones you heard that are happening live right now, daily, where I interview some of the top healers, teachers, and masters in the field of energy transformation, energy healing, consciousness, ascension, and more. Plus, you're gonna get to be on live calls where you'll get your questions answered, you'll get to submit them via webcast, you'll even get to be one-on-one live on the phone and get energy healing help daily. It's all part of what we've been doing. So get up to date, click the link, join and be a part of it. And if you enjoyed this video or you'd like to see more of it, click the like button or subscribe. I always upload new content and I give weekly energy updates. So please let us know how we can serve you. And thanks for watching and being in my life. Much love.